Olympus launched OMD webcam beta software a couple of months ago, but it was only for PCs. The software makes Olympus cameras the ones that are compatible to work as a webcam for your computer. It's a great way to use OMD cameras on your Zoom meetings. And what's good about now is that it's also available for Mac OS. Let's see how it works. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I am an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start talking about the OMD webcam beta, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer and of course about Olympus gear. The first thing you need to do of course is install the software to your computer. And there is a link in the description of this video where you can get the software. There are also some information about the software and some instruction also how to use it. But I will tell you them on this video too. So be sure to watch this and learn how to use it if you, if you need it. After you have downloaded the software, install it to your computer. The only thing that differs when using this software is this part when you install it to your computer. Because it's also for PCs and for Macs and that, that workflow is a bit different. But follow the instructions on your computer, you should be all, all set to go. I needed to restart my computer after installing the software. Uh, I use Mac OS Catalina and the software works all the way up from Mac OS Sierra. So if you have really old OS uh, operate or the Mac operating systems, then you need to upgrade your operating system. But most likely you do not have to do that. After you're all set with uh, the computer stuff, then plug in your OMD compatible OMD camera to your computer using the USB cable that came with it. And the compatible cameras are all EM1 variants and OMD, uh, OMD EM5 Mark II. Unfortunately, EM5 Mark III and the EM10 cameras are not compatible. And that's because they don't, oh, those cameras cannot be used as tethered. And that is a pity because at least the EM5 Mark III should have tethering feature because EM5 Mark II had it. And I don't understand why to take away or take out some uh, good features from cameras when you getting a new new version of it. And especially now when we're using a lot, a lot of Zoom and Teams and, and Hangouts and whatnot, and a quality webcam is really needed now. So I'm really glad that Olympus um, have this software and it's free, which I did not mention before. So you get a free software and you can use your OMD camera as a webcam. That's good. And when you plug in with your USB cable, you get this screen on your camera. Choose the computer to camera mode and then you will, should be all set to go. And one notion about the USB cable, I could not make it work with USB-C to USB-C cable. I needed to use USB-C to a regular USB cable. Then it worked perfectly and that was with the M5, uh, M1 Mark III. And then from the application that you are uh, planning on using the OMD webcam or your OMD camera as a webcam, choose OMD webcam beta as your camera source and you should get the picture or the, the image on the screen and you can use it. And this example is from Zoom. You go to the application settings and choose the right camera source. This might vary in a different application that you can use this, but uh, I cannot cover them all, so you need to figure the, that out yourself. But I've tested it with Ecamm and Zoom, and it worked perfectly nice, no problem. It's it's really, really handy webcam for those applications. And I bet it works also with Skype and, and other applications. And before we talk about the image quality, let's talk about the audio first. The downside on this is that the audio is not going through the USB. So you need a separate audio source. So if you use it as your webcam, for example, on Zoom meetings, you have a microphone on your computer most likely. But of course, that's not the best solution. The best solution is either to use a USB mic or if you have a Olympus uh, audio recorder like the LSP or the older LS100, then you can use those. And there are also instructions how to use those in the same link that I already said. It's in the down in the description of this video. So remember, you need a separate microphone for audio because you cannot use the microphone jack on 
on your OMD camera because the audio doesn't go through the USB. The small problem is the, of course, the audio because sometimes there might be a bit of a lag between the uh, the picture and the audio, so the lip sync might not be perfect. But we used to that on Zoom. So if you have a possibility to adjust that on your software, then you might do that. I didn't measure the lag, but there is some. So that's the about the only downside that this software has. Or it's not actually the software, it's the camera that cannot pass audio through USB. And then there is one concern, that's the battery life. If you have a possibility to have external power to your camera, then it's not a problem. But if you're using the battery in your camera, then you're limited because, for example, EM1 Mark III has USB charging, but of course you cannot use the USB charging when you have the USB reserved for for uh, the uh, webcam software. I've gotten EM with the EM1 Mark III and EM1 Mark II when I've done my live streams on this YouTube channel, gotten about three hours of battery life. And the good thing is that you can kind of like hot swap the batteries or the battery so that the stream doesn't end if, if you run out of battery in your camera, you just put another battery in so you can go on for quite some time. But that's something to consider that if you cannot use external power, then you are limited what comes to the time that you can use it as a webcam at a time, of course. And then let's talk about the image quality or the video quality in this case. If you want to have really top-notch image quality, use the HDMI port and an HDM video capture card or a video uh, capture device like Elgato CamLink. But for Zoom and Skype and, and online calls, it's totally perfect, the image quality I mean, to use the USB cable. It's nothing wrong with that. And also I had the EM1 Mark III set to uh, Cinema 4K, it didn't work. You need to have it on Full HD, then it works perfectly. But the uh, odd thing is that a live stream software, Ecamm, has built-in ability to use almost any camera as a webcam. And on that one I could use 4K, so I don't know why it didn't work using the OMD beta webcam software. But most likely for Zoom and for Skype and Teams and whatnot, Full HD is totally fine. So no problem with that. But as I said, if you want really, really top-notch image quality, use the HDMI output, uh, output and a video capture device to capture the image from your camera. And then also it is advised to have the memory card in your camera. The quality will be better and also use movie mode, then you can have CAF mode available. So if you're moving around, the, uh, uh, what do you call, the AF will, will stick on your face. If you use any other mode, then you don't have tracking, which is kind of odd, I don't know. But set it to movie mode and have your memory card in the camera, the image quality will be better. But now let's look at some different cameras and different settings and so that you can see the image quality. As you saw from these examples that the image quality is totally fine for your Zoom calls and or your Zoom meetings, your Teams meetings, your Skype calls. It's a lot better quality than a regular webcam that you might have on your laptop, for example. And it's a very good thing that Olympus has now this also for Mac. And if you're interested in streaming, then you might want to watch this video. That's all about how to use Elgato CamLink with your Olympus OMD cameras. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.